Nikola Tesla's insane secret invention that was never released was too dangerous. What do we know about Nikola Tesla? That without him, we would be now without electricity. And without modern Tesla, we would not have the electric cars. But have you ever wondered what scientists do while working in their labs? Nikola Tesla used to work 20 hours a day. We only get to know things which are successful commercial inventions. What if someone in the military had paid him for the intelligence needed to make spells to cast zombies? Who knows? But wait, we went to the Tesla Experimental Station and opened the archives and dug out the history to find out what Nikola Tesla actually has been doing in his labs for 20 hours a day, about which you may know nothing before watching this video. Remote Control Navies Tesla is best renowned for his work with electricity, but it wasn't his only field. Military technology was another important focus of Tesla's efforts. Tesla, like Alfred Nobel, believed that the only way to prevent war was to make it either completely pointless or so disastrous for the participants that no one would ever go to war again. Tesla designed a miniature boat that he could control with radio signals to start, stop and navigate. Battleships will cease to be built, and the most magnificent artillery afloat will be of no more use than scrap iron. He hoped by removing humans from the equation. The Thought Camera Tesla had a strange theory about being able to picture one's thoughts. He told Kansas City Journal Post reporters in 1933. In 1893, while doing research, I arrived at the conclusion that a definite image produced in thinking must produce a similar image on the retina which could be read by an appropriate instrument, due to reflex action. If a thought does indeed reflect an image on the retina, then it is merely a matter of illuminating the same property, taking photographs and then displaying the image on a screen via conventional techniques. If this is done correctly, a person's imagined objects will be reflected on the screen as they form, allowing each individual's thoughts to be read. In that case, our heads would be like open books. Obviously, this is not how thought processes function, but we don't know enough about the biological mechanisms of human mind and awareness to rule out the possibility that Tesla was correct. Earthquake Machine Tesla's steam-powered mechanical oscillator, whose vibration could be used to create electricity, was given a patent in 1893. While calibrating this equipment for an experiment, it began shaking his New York City laboratory so fiercely that it nearly knocked the building down, as he would later tell reporters. All of the big machines in the area began to fly around at the same time. I broke the machine with a hammer. In a few minutes, the structure would have collapsed around our heads. There was chaos outside in the streets. Ambulances and police were dispatched. My assistants were instructed to keep quiet. It must have been an earthquake, we said to the cops. That was the only thing they knew. This gave Tesla the idea for his telegeodynamic oscillator, or earthquake machine, which could be used by scientists to learn about the Earth's geology, engineers and prospectors to find mineral and metal ore resources underground. Although he never completed his earthquake machine, scientists and engineers continue to use the same technique to get the same results today. Death Ray Tesla felt that speeding mercury isotopes to 48 times the speed of sound would provide enough energy to annihilate entire armies at a distance, restricted only by the Earth's curvature. Tesla reportedly sought to sell this theory to various nations, including the United States, in the years leading up to his death. But the Soviet Union was the only one to try it out. And the results were never what Tesla had hoped for. Nikola Tesla had a huge impact on how we live today. Think of any of the inventions being available to the public. Let us know in the comment section and make sure you are subscribed.